so I went to grab a bottle of water even though it's in bottled water it's actually tap water tap water at least fortunately for us here in Switzerland it is the best really it's cheap and it's um, safe so um, the third quadrant because we've looked at the spiritual side we looked at the physical development goal side and so the fourth quadrant for me is the professional of course you know for me to be able to have what it is that I have you know I need work and for me to be able to aspire you know to go for my dreams to aspire you know to um, to, yeah, to aspire to reach the heights of my profession in anything that I want to do, of course, you need money, you know, even if it is to enroll on courses, to travel, you know, you need money. So money is important. How much of it you need, well, that depends on you your values and your belief system and your principles but for me i don't think you need that much you need enough enough to be able to take care of all your needs and not necessarily wants but i mean if you you are going for the wants why not you know but for me i don't think you need that much money to be happy i think most of the things that make human beings happy are priceless and it's like first of all it's really peace of mind and peace of mind you can get when you have that balance and that starts from the spiritual side so for me this is why it's important for me to develop myself spiritually you know love you know you cannot buy love you know love is is a gift you know and you know love that you get from family members from spouses from partners from children you know this is what is important and you know there's joy there's peace you know there is um, and there's health really if you do not understand the gift of being healthy I would strongly suggest that you take a visit to the hospital whether it's possible or not i don't know but just take a walk to the hospital and see the conditions that people are in you know you don't even have to take a, a, a trip to the hospital you can just you know tune in you know switch on the television and look for you know all these um episodes and series and programs uh, and tv shows on, on life in the emergency ward, you know, and then you will see how blessed you are. So, um, what I'm trying to say is that it's important that if you have a job, that you maintain that job and that you do everything you can, not only to do what you do well, but also to project and to plan for the tomorrow you know because the world that we're in is constantly changing even with this recent epidemic the health ep epidemic you know the health pandemic you know um, we've seen how lots of people have lost their jobs because you know due to the lockdown mandatory lockdown um, situation that was yeah, imposed on citizens this meant that restaurants and lots of businesses could not operate as usual so from one day to the next people find themselves queuing for food for charity you see so what i'm trying to say is that life is really unpredictable for those of us those of you who still have your jobs count yourselves blessed count yourselves lucky 
really do not take your jobs for granted because in one day or the next you could lose that so what I'm trying to say is that as part of your daily goals plug in items for your own personal and professional development so it means that aspire every day to spend time on the job learning learning to improve the job that you're doing now but also learning to acquire new skills for tomorrow because you don't know tomorrow you don't know whether you still have the job so you have to factor in you know skills you know constantly have this mindset of upskilling yourself constantly have this mindset of lifelong learning build it into your dna always think of tomorrow even though you have to live for today in the present think about tomorrow you know think about tomorrow and that you have employable skills really and these employable skills be, are now more and more digital and there are lots of uh, free platform, learning platforms, some of them social learning platforms like um, the Open Learn of the Open University. There is also the Future Learn that I also discovered. And there are other such free uh, learning programs that you can already sign up on and then slowly, slowly, slowly have a plan for where you want to be tomorrow you know have a plan always stick into your job a learning objective it's good for your you know performance uh, development um, uh, um, exercise but also have it as a personal development plan you see so make sure that you're reading to be up to date to be informed because now we're in the knowledge economy and information is critical make sure that you factor into your 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 daily uh, work life and learning component and of course you focus on the task that you can do and try to do it to the best of your ability you know efficiently effectively and um, but always remember to add a learning objective in your daily work life not only to improve the work you do today but also for tomorrow because we never know tomorrow you know and then moving into the last quadrant that is for personal development and this is the best part for me because you know these this is the time that i can get to read the books that i want to read i love to cook so sometimes i spend the time cooking cooking for me is very therapeutic you see so not only does it meet my physical development goals but it's a pleasure you know i really love to cook and maybe i will share some of my recipes with you later at some point and film as i as i get more and more confident with the camera so talking about the camera i'm using my canon g7x um, i'm very comfortable with using that and uh, yeah so always in your den for me this is the one way I reward myself is pursuing my personal development goals things that bring me a lot of pleasure you know things that make my heart pump you see so for me it's digital film making or digital photography and it's learning so like I said I have embarked on this journey you know because I was so tired of being digitally illiterate you know while i'm good with computers and technology it's like a very good amateur amateur or amateur anyway you know what i want to say a very good amateur so this time i want to pursue it properly i want to understand the science behind 
technology, how it works, you know, what goes on inside the box. You see, I don't want just to be the end user of the computer, or the end user of the consumer. I want to understand what goes behind the technology so that I would be in a better position to advocate for the right interface. And I'm saying that because in my work, it involves trying to create an enabling envi environment in the workplace so that the workplace is more equal, the workplace is more diverse. We appreciate the diversity of groups that we have. And when I talk of diversity, it talks of persons with disabilities, it talks of you know, all kinds of disabilities. It talks of minority groups like ethnic minority groups. It talks of, it deals with, you know, the LGBTI community. It's about women issues, gender, so that there, how do we bring about gender equality and parity? How do we create an inclusive and an enabling working environment that people want to come to work and they want to bring their best selves to work, but they can be themselves, you see? So uh, this is the work that I do and um, I just actually discovered, I learned that the 21st of May was the Global um, Accessibility Awareness Day. And I saw that there were lots of events created for that day, but it meant that there were lots of companies who advocate for, um, for digital inclusion so that regardless of who you are, whether you have a disability or not, you should be able to enjoy first rate, first class user experience, you know, when you use any digital device or platform or interface. And I said, hey, this is something that I would like to pursue, you know, that, you know, because I understand the science, of the technology and I put myself in the position of the end user how can I advocate how can I be part of the people who would like to ensure make sure that the interfaces that are built on these devices that we use more and more is built in such a way that all of us can enjoy it, if not equally, but differently. But at the end of the day, the final outcome, you know, the user experience should be the same. So this is, this is why I'm learning technology actually, because, you know, there's so many devices out there built with different types of technologies, but these systems that are being built, do they take into consideration every one of us? You see what I mean? Every one of us, because, you know, if you look at these systems, most of them, you know, if you're an English mother tongue speaker, you have an advantage over somebody who does not, you know? And if you have a disability on top of that, you know, you can imagine the frustration people will have in accessing technology that was built by um, somebody who was an English mother tongue speaker. I mean, if you if you Google, if you Google any, I don't know, if you Google any word or if you yeah, if you Google a word in English and you Google the same word in French, I can guarantee that you'll have more returns for the English language word than for the foreign. Because the world of technology is dominated by English mother tongue speakers. Having said that, 
For me, this is the personal goal I've set for myself. I want to learn technology. I want to understand it. I don't make my age my barrier. I don't let my gender be a barrier. I don't let my color be a barrier. It's an interest that I've always had and come with COVID, COVID I understood that we never, there will never be a right time. The only right time is now. So if you, and you have to listen to your heart and let your heart determine where it is that you want to focus your energy in to find uh, to find your purpose okay and for me technology has always had a very special part in my in my heart and up until now i've been a very good end user but i've come to understand that it's not enough for me i need to understand it even more and so i have formally embarked on a learning course in computing and technology and actually this is an, uh, a reason to celebrate because I just submitted my first assignment um, on Thursday, last Thursday. So one down, I still have two more written assignments to submit. And I've also submitted, there is a computer marked assignment. I've also submitted that one. The results have come. I had 100% yay, but it does mean that I have two more written assignments and two more um, compute. So my battery is running low. I moved locations because um, yeah, it was getting noisy on the other side but I just want to quickly end so I am running really out of battery so I need to hurry up so I just end my vlog with summarizing basically the new system and approach that I, excuse me that I have adopted to keep me on track with my